So we took a trip up to Walla Walla to check out not the onions, not Drew Bledsoe, but okay. a new hero, Jonah Hole. Oh, okay. Let's have a look at his story. After his record-breaking performance against the Pasco Bulldogs, Jonah Ho has been receiving a whole lot of attention. But who is Jonah Ho the person? When Jonah was born, we didn't know his name. Like we didn't, you know, we weren't sure whether we were going to have a boy or girl and stuff. So when he was born, um, my wife and I were just like, well, what are we going to name him? <laughs> I know. And then just for her, I, I think there's a picture there and, and uh, she said, oh, look at that. We're going to call him Jonah. And then we said, Jonah Ho. Hey, that sounds cool, man. <laughs> so, so that's how his name came about. You know, it was, it was just like that. And, and I think it's kind of like a little Hawaiian thing to name a kid after you. So he has my middle name. Uh, my first. My middle name, yeah. So it's Jonah Keala. And it just sounded pretty good. You've been the head coach now for two years. Uh, tell me about Jonah Ho as a person and as a leader of this team. He's been a really great kid to be around. I've had the great pleasure of knowing Jonah for four years through track um, and in class, but he, he's a great kid. Uh, he's a good leader in school. Uh, he's taking classes at our running start at our community college, um, but he's, he's very well grounded. He's got great parents. Uh, he's, he's a team player, and he had a, a real instrumental part in our offseason this year of getting kids together to do things. A skateboarding, guitar playing missionary, Jonah Ho has traveled all over the world. Growing up, I was uh, raised in Idaho. Um, there's a lot of football going on. My dad was the head coach there um, at Garden Valley High School. Um, I was always, you know, running around on the field with the older kids and everything, and they're always giving me a hard time, just kind of like a normal, you know, coach's son and everything. But um, there, you know, I, I just learned a lot about working hard and stuff, and my dad really instilled that in me. And to, um, so th they were they were always in the playoffs and everything, and so it was, it was a really big deal down there. So I had a good childhood with football and everything. Um, tell me about your time in, in Romania and, and the, the experience that you had there with, with Jonah. Oh, man, it was, it, it was awesome. It was awesome. You know, so we left. We had a, everything was awesome in Idaho. You know, we were there. We had lived in a little community and loved it. But the Lord called us to, to full-time ministry. So we went and uh, we um, took over a buddy's church. You know, and the idea was to grow this church so that we could have people to help support the orphans there in Romania. And so for Jonah, Jonah's deal was he was a skater. That's what he loved to do. So every, pretty much every day from the first day we got there, he'd ride his skateboard down to the skate park and just start hanging out with the guys. Just help, and then he'd bring them over, and we'd talk to the kids about the Lord. We'd have, you know, ice cream parties and things like that, and just trying to share the gospel with these kids. And next thing you know, I man, after two years, you wouldn't even know that Jonah was American. You know, I mean, he could, he was almost, I want to say he was fluent, but he was really close. Uh, at, at that point, like when they told us, he, I had a lot of mixed feelings. I, I had, you know, a couple childhood buddies I'd, you know, I'd always remember, and I didn't really want to leave them. You know, we were all supposed to play football together for my dad, so it was kind of like, oh man, we gotta go do this whole different thing. But I was, you know, it's exciting too, though. You're like, I've never been overseas uh, to Romania or anything like that. It was, it was really exciting, but it was really sad too, leaving all our friends and everything. We tried to just immerse ourselves in the culture, and, and so that was a great, that was a great thing for him. And then when we were there too, he actually played rugby for for a Romanian team. This is kind of like what I was talking to you about, you know, and that was a huge blessing for him, you know, because we got to go, um, we got to go to England and play rugby there, and he was just, he was just doing his thing, man, just trying to be one of the kids, trying to, and and yet at the same time just trying to live life as a believer there, you know, and just living the life of a Christian, I guess. Oh, uh, it was a really, really good experience. Um, I made a lot of. A lot of friends from all over the world there. Um, met like, geez, I don't know, just hundreds of missionaries and stuff. And um, I, I played rugby there for a little while, and I was playing soccer, and so I was still involved with like athletics and stuff. But it was it was a, it was a really really good experience. Well, you know, the, the faith background is huge because he has a lot of faith in the higher powers, you know, with his dad being a prior pastor and whatnot, and it, it's big in their family, and it should be um, to them. 
Uh, but, but he has faith in what's being taught to him, and he has faith in the people around him. And I think that's a huge key. A lot of kids don't trust what's going on in the grand scheme, and Jonah does. Mm, it's, yeah, it's been rough. There's, there's obviously some rough patches. I think my sophomore year we went um, like two and seven or something like that. So it, it's, it's been hard with um, just all the seniors and stuff. They were, you know, disappointed. We, I've gone through maybe three, four different offenses, three different head coaches in the past four years. That's not usual for, you know, a high school athlete or anything like that. But it, it's it's helped me grow. It's helped me learn a lot about football and things like that. And so yeah, I thought, uh, you know, you can't just waltz in there and be good. You know, you got to you gotta put in the work. And so I've been really trying to do that. Next week, we'll bring you part two of the Jonah Ho story. Injury, records, legacy, and more next week on The Zone.